August the 1st, 2020. You got it right! It? <laughs> yeah. Huh? What man remembers anniversaries? Hey guys, we are back in Scotty's kitchen. And by we, I mean my friend Elizabeth. I would be the Scotty of Scotty's kitchen. Man, I'm excited. I'm excited about today. I think one of the reasons I'm excited is because I kind of know what we're doing today. <laughs> yeah. and it, it's not a two hour project this time. Uh, knowing what I'm doing is not always the case, but today, <laughs> summertime, Elizabeth, you know what we're gonna do? Some ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Homemade ice cream, and I'm excited about this because this is something that we have done before. And today, we are going to use fresh strawberries from High B. So we're gonna make some strawberry ice cream. The old fashioned way. First thing we gotta do, Elizabeth, is cut some strawberries. Okay. We need three cups of strawberries. Okay. So let's say just start chopping and we'll measure later. These do look great. Heidi has oh, a, man. a delicious selection of strawberries. Look at that. <laughs> That's good strawberry right there. Look at you. That's exactly what I was thinking. Beautiful. Scotty, I also heard that uh, you have a surprise for me in this recipe. Oh, that was the other thing I was excited about. I have two surprises at the end of this. I feel like uh, homemade ice cream is one of those many um, kind of pandemic hobbies that came up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, when people were looking for stuff to do and I started doing it during the pandemic and that wasn't my thought process behind it. But we were just digging around in mom's house just doing some stuff one day and I found my dad's old ice cream maker. And I just thought, oh, I want to try that. I'd always kind of wanted to and never thought about it. So, um, so I brought it up here. Everything worked on it fine. And man, I got on a real roll. I mean, every Friday, um, a couple of summers ago, I, I was making a different ice cream. I was taking requests from people at work. And honestly, I think those were our first videos together, were the ice cream videos back in the day. That's right when you started. Yep. My God, that was a wonderful day. August the 1st, 2020. I always like cutting things. I feel like you said this before because it feels like you're you're doing something. It absolutely. You feel like you're cooking. Yes. If you're cutting something, I'm with you 100. percent Yeah. See, this just blends strawberries up in a blender or food processor. But I think another option is to put the sugar and then you just kind of with a fork you kind of break it up a little bit and the sugar gets in there. Nice. And then it, is macerate a word? Does it macerate? Someone look that up. Liz, can you take care of that in post-production? Yeah. Put like a little macerate on the bottom of the video. And I got the uh, the strawberries from the from the high V produce section. So I mean, this time of year, it's don't just zoom past the produce, man. Look around and you'll see some stuff that, that you can use and it's healthy and adds color, you know, to, to what you're cooking. So it's really kind of cool. Dump these in here. with a half a cup of sugar and you kind of stir it so you do that you can even kind of mash a little bit too because it kind of helps break up and the natural you know juices and flavors kind of come a little bit but boy the sugar sure adds to it actually we need to let this sit for a few minutes because it gives those sugars a chance to work You see that? You see like the liquid and the, it's like the juices from the strawberry. That's, I'm assuming that's what the maceration mm -hmm. process does. You know, I kind of want to see how close we got to three cups. Don't you? Oh, okay, sounds great. Let's just, just see. We've already decided we're gonna put them all in anyway. There's one cup. How good are we at Sister, eyeballing? Sister, we're gonna be close. Two cups. 
Look at that. I, we get all these in there. That's going to be three cups. Man. Look at that. On the nose. Combine the strawberry mixture with the heavy cream. I'd need a whole nother cup of sugar, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a lot of sugar. We go heavy on the sugar. Yeah. Is that going to be a problem, Elizabeth? Nah. We just work on it. it kind of smells like ice cream already. Does it really? Yeah, because it's got the milk and heavy cream and stuff in there. Should I do it in the sink or should I do it up here, Liz? I would do it in the sink. Oh. All right, do it. Where's your sense of adventure? <laughs> I think we're ready. Sweet. Now we will move to the outside because that's where the ice cream maker is. We'll meet you on the carport. So now, ice cream maker, take this. Ice cream salt. There's something about the salt which makes the ice even colder which helps speed up speed the process. So, this is the way I do it. There's not salt in the ice cream. And then this process just kind of continues the whole time. I mean, as it as it goes and it melts, we'll just keep adding ice and keep adding salt. And this machine's older than Liz. Every time I plug it in, Okay, so Liz asked me the other day, how do you know when it's done? It just stops because it's all frozen on the inside. And sometimes I'll do this just to see if there's a little bit more spin in it, but now that's it. Let's go see if it worked. Okay, so when that motor stops like that, it's done. And you can do a couple of different things. I think what you're kind of supposed to do is just leave what my dad used to do anyway, was he would take it then and he would cover it with a blanket. I'm not feeling very patient and I don't think Elizabeth is either. So we're gonna see how it turned out. You ready? Uh-huh. Look at that. You wanna bite? Sure. You want the first bite? Oh my god, sure. Cheers. I hope it's good. Oh yeah. Here, are you ready for your surprise? Sure. I got sugar cones oh, this time. Oh my gosh. Plus, okay. or you got an option. Oh Lord have mercy. I bought some Hy-Vee snickerdoodles oh. so we can make ice cream sandwiches. And not only that, keep that face, we can even put red sprinkles on it. It's a summertime treat. I will tell you, we're always honest in, in Scotty's kitchen. And I wish I'd have left it out there covered up, but we were just so anxious. It needs to freeze a little bit more. I'm gonna try this and then... I'm gonna freeze it some more. I think I'm just gonna go for it. Just go, I'm sorry it's dripping on you. That's my fault. So good, right? And the calm, perfection. Yeah, dog. <laughs> a waffle cone is the way to go. Is there a mouse in your house, sir? I may have broken into the snickerdoodles a little early. <laughs> All right, we're kind of finishing up today here in the studio. This is what I was wanting to do yesterday was to make a little ice cream sandwich with some snickerdoodle cookies mm. from Hy-Vee. Oh, I see what you're gonna do there. Oh. 
Hey, it comes out fast. It does. I wasn't prepared for all of that. Oh my God, that's so cute. Uh, well, there it is. So oh good! Oh my god! I'm gonna take another bite. Take another bite. Is it time for the wrap up? <laughs> yeah. It was a it was a really simple recipe. Yeah. It was great. And if, if if you do homemade ice cream, you know your machine and your tricks and that sort of thing. But basically, you can take a a regular recipe, get some delicious fruit from High V. We use strawberries. You can use blueberries or something else, and just kind of put it in there and go to town. Yeah.